Today's Bible study is titled Paul's But If to Peter. In our last installment, Paul was still setting the historical record straight regarding his interaction with the Apostle Peter in Antioch, related to Peter leading in acts of dissimulation, assuming of a false or counterfeit appearance which conceals the real opinions or purpose, to appease those of the circumcision, who were come down from James and Jerusalem. Paul records how he reminded Peter of what he should have already learned in Antioch at this point, namely, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. This was something with which those of circumcision apparently struggled and Paul continues from this today. But if, while we seek to be justified by Christ, we ourselves also are found sinners, is therefore Christ the minister of sin? God forbid! For if I build again the things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. For I through the law am dead to the law, that I might live unto God. Galatians 2 verses 17 to 19 Remember, we are in the midst of the record of Paul's confronting Peter for sinful conduct he had exhibited before Galatian Gentile believers, before Paul's comrades, Barnabas and others, and before those of the circumcision that came from James. Paul's summation regarding his discourse with Peter was effectively, Look Peter, if we who are Jews by nature example, not Gentile sinners, know that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ, and yet while seeking to be justified by Christ we in turn are also are found sinners, stop right there. Stop right there for given that by this time, that blindness in part is happened to Israel, until the fullness of the Gentiles become in Romans 11 verse 25, and regarding Israel, God hath concluded them all in unbelief Romans 11 verse 32, sinners is exactly what they are found to be, example that is exactly the conclusion. Paul's but if question is answered that the Jews also are found sinners. It is a statement of conclusion, because Israel had been concluded in sinful unbelief, just like the Gentiles as Paul would also note in Romans 10 verse 12, there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek regarding salvation. And thus, Paul's question to Peter, namely that if the kingdom gospel were to continue as a path to Jewish salvation, Christ would have in effect become a minister of sin, which we know is not the case, example, God forbid. And Paul's approach to Peter, in this regard, was spot on and Peter would have absolutely recognized it to be so. Paul continues before Peter, speaking now of himself that his very calling as apostle to the Gentiles, had as its foundation the fact that Israel's kingdom, and new covenant offer was off the table, until the fullness of the Gentiles become in Romans 11 25b. Thus, regarding the kingdom gospel, and living by the Mosaic law, Paul's ministry view would have seen these as the things which I destroyed. And Paul certainly was not seeking to build again these, otherwise, he observes, I make myself a transgressor by so doing. And just what would be the transgression? It would be failing to recognize and thereby live in the light of for I through the law am dead to the law, that I might live unto God, which Paul full well knew to be the case. And Paul is pointing out that Peter full well should have also known this to be the case in this record of his dialogue with him. I am free to just allow the word to speak for itself, and thereby the meaning becomes quite clear to me. But don't take my word for it, you search the scriptures and study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Believer, study the word. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.